In this example, we'll do a quick income tax calculation where we're given the taxable income, 98,400, and we'll calculate the income tax owed on that taxable income. So we're given a portion of the tax table, as much as we need. This taxpayer is filing separately from their spouse, so they fit into this category of single or married filing separately. So in this case, they're married filing separately. So we're given the tax brackets here, as well as the standard deduction amount, which we don't need for this first example. We're just working with a taxable income, and we're going to calculate the taxes owed. First of all, notice that on a taxable income of 98400 the furthest we're going to get to is this 24% tax bracket. So we're not going to go beyond that because 98000 fits between 85000 and 163000 But it's not that their tax will be 24% of their total taxable income. Remember, the idea of a progressive income tax is that your money gets divided into pieces and then each piece gets taxed at a different tax rate. So no matter how much money you make, the first $9,875 you make in this category will be taxed at 10%. So 10% of that amount will be set aside for taxes. And then the next bucket from 9875 up to 40125 will be taxed at 12% and so on. So we need to first divide this taxable income into segments. So we have the first $9,875. And then the next bucket will hold the difference between these two. So if we subtract those, we get 30,250. So of this person's money, 30,000 roughly gets put into this second bucket. And then the third bucket will hold everything from that point up to 85,525, which is $45,400. So the third bucket holds 45,400. And then the last bucket doesn't get filled all the way up. So since they make a, a taxable income of 98,400, they aren't gonna go all the way up to the top end of this last bracket, but they'll just go from 85,525 up to 98,400. So if we subtract those two, we get 12,875. So they divided their taxable income into these four brackets or four buckets, and then each one gets taxed at the percentage that goes with that bucket. So the first one we're going to multiply by 10% or 0 0.10. The next one we're going to multiply by 12% the next one by 22%, and the next one by 24%. And those percentages are just read off of this tax rate column in the tax table. So if we run those calculations, the first one, 9875 times 0 0.10 is 98750. The next one is 3630. The next one is 9988. And the last one is 3090. So those are the total amounts that are taxed from each segment. So the total tax that this person owes is going to be the total if we add all those together. So if we add together these four values, what you should get is $17,695.50. So that's the total tax that this person owes, $17,695.50.